One of the most famous K-drama actors right now, Sung Jung Ki, just got married and is having a baby with not who you think. Yeah, Katie Louise Sanders. She's actually half English, half Colombian. This is just one of the most high profile things because it's popping in the K-pop, K-drama sphere, which is over here, but it crossed over to the mainstream sphere because she was already known in the UK. Now, here's why it's significant because a lot of Korean celebrities, they do marry non-Koreans, such as like Chinese, Japanese, Thai, or they generally keep it Asian. But this is one of the first times, if not the first time, that such a high profile Korean actor at the top of his game Right, he's got 11 million Instagram followers right now. He's just coming off of the heels of a Netflix series that's really popular. He's marrying a non-Asian. Right, so make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And yeah, we're gonna talk about the implications for, I guess, like Asian dude status in society, implications for the Korean pop or Asia pop industry in general, and what are the implications for just like the K-pop, K-drama fandom world, you know, because it's so hyperactive and obviously, um, yeah, it's just a thing right now on the internet. Andrew, let's get into some of the reactions. The first one was, and this is from the Western world, by the way. Wow, he is so great in all his films. Yeah, he's in a Netflix series, so people have seen him before. I hope that you're watching the series not dubbed, though. It's better in Korean, guys. Just read the subtitles. Another comment was like, oh, my gosh, I am so worried about all the toxic K-pop fans. I don't know if they're going to accept him. They were saying she wasn't a celebrity. They were saying that she had two children. There was all these rumors swirling around like he could do better. He should have yeah. kept it Korean. He should have uh, did this. He should have did that. Hey, guys, uh, the netizens will always say what you think they're going to say. But I, uh, there was even rumors that the Korean media was saying that she was a non-celebrity now she is not the biggest celebrity but she did appear in a number of movies a lot of them in uh they took place in in spanish or italian or in britain so that's why so she's multilingual she so, speaks a lot of different languages so that's why she's not really known to us or definitely not known to korea well that's shout why. out to kathleen louise sanders somebody said oh my gosh their kids are gonna be so gorgy gorgeous right the uh good old Gorgeous Hapa stereotype. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, they, honestly, they have a very high probability, but never, it's never 100% hey, 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 hey. of being pretty good. No, looking. no, no. I will say, looking at the two parents, the two parents are pretty good looking. Yeah. Um, this other comment was like, I love Korean shows. You know, I know your average Korean in just citizen isn't as gorgeous as these K drama actors are, but I just love the show so much. They are so uniquely crafted from other media on the marketplace. And the most important thing is they never try to push a political agenda. They're just love stories. <laughs> no, and I mean I think that's why Koreans are excelling at content. They know how to make good stories. They do get a lot of good looking people in there who are talented, who train hard, take it very, very seriously. And and, you know, they try to put out a product that the entire globe is going to enjoy. Another comment was, this is a big scandal for, like, top Korean star. He is divorced. She is divorced. And then she became pregnant even before the wedding. Plus, she's not Korean. This could be a scandal to some fans. And somebody else said, calm down. It is only a scandal to, like, the most toxic 20% of the fan base. The other 80% is either neutral or happy. Stop making it such a big deal. All right. So, I will say this, that uh, Koreans... You know, oftentimes, usually they are known for keeping it pretty pure Korean. You know, they do take a lot of pride with marrying other Koreans, uh, at least like of the older generation. I don't want right, to say right. our generation, but of like the 40 and ups. It's a small said, group of people. They yeah. want to uh, keep their small group. Yeah, yeah. They, they would kind of sound, it would kind of sound like that. So I think that's where it's kind of coming from because now they think if he does it, well, that means other celebrities are going to oh do it. Oh my gosh. What if everybody just like follows oh this example? God. Like, Sung Jung Ki is, like, breaking open the door for, like, so many, like, interracial baby and, like, Koreans. Um, of course, in the Western world, Andrew, as far as, like, the Western world platforms go, there were some disses on him saying, uh, oh, my gosh, I wonder if they've seen each other without makeup on because I know he's, like, one of those K-pop, K-drama flower boys. They love wearing makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> Um, another one said, yeah, she looks like she adopted one of them little Korean kids. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Um, this other guy Jeez. said, he just looks like a she, you know? And of course, Andrew, we got to acknowledge this goes to the Western world stereotype that a lot of Asian men, particularly like the pretty delicate Asian men, they, a lot of Western people, when they diss Asian guys say that they like, look like they lack testosterone and have high estrogen. And you know, what's funny is I feel like as a K-drama actor, he's doesn't look that feminine, but he looks very masculine if he was like a K-pop star. K-pop stars generally look a little bit more feminine Androgynous and softer, show. yeah, than the K-drama guys. I would say that he just happens to have really, really sharp features to the point where almost like very, like, 
in terms of sharpness of feature, he's in the top 1% of guys of like any no, look. What I, I think what they're also pointing out to, uh, because her face looks like a very like Western woman. So usually sometimes when you see like a non-Asian woman marry an Asian guy, maybe they have like, you know, both like look young. But since she looks like just like a regular Western person and then he looks like to them like a softer Asian guy, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just, uh, it's difficult to describe. But moving on, um, basically somebody said, uh, am I supposed to know these two? To me in the Western world, both of these people are irrelevant, which of course was basically... I guess ranking global markets, right? That's like a common diss of like, what? I got to care about a UK, half UK, Colombian, marrying a South Korean. I don't care about none of those markets. America. Yeah, no, for sure that Sung Jung Ki is the bigger star between the two, obviously, clearly. You know, she's been out of the limelight for a while. She was teaching English or teaching uh, Spanish Yeah, to And him. of course, there was know. comments from even outside of the K-pop, K-drama sphere and outside of the mainstream sphere. And one of them was like, Glenn and Maggie finally make it official. This is obviously referencing Steven Yoon from Walking Dead. And some guys said, yeah, man, it's hard for Asians to pull like basically beautiful women outside of their race so I can understand why all Asian guys are calling this a W. That was like on one of the uh, Asian Instagram pages. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't want to make it sound like that an Asian guy's goal is to get with a non-Asian woman. I don't right? actually think that I, I hear that many Asian guys say that. I, I've heard it though. Yeah, obviously, I know that there's this thing that goes on because it's so many Asian women do get with non-Asian guys. That's where they end up, right? So then there's always this feeling like, yo, Asian guys, we got to go out and get non-Asian women. Well, it's happening. Now, it is interesting that he's not even Asian American. He's like from Asia, Asia. He's from Korea. So now I'm trying to think like, do you think it's going to inspire other Korean actors maybe to do something similar? Like they, he kind of made it okay is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. I think it could be a trend to go more international as like K-pop is building up all these like gigantic internet fan bases in other countries. One thing I've noticed though, is that even like in Latin America, even though there's a tremendous amount of the youth girls that like K-pop, their traditional media gatekeepers are like slow to slower to accept it on like, sure. you know, the top billboard pop charts and for sure. You know, the shows that are the gatekeepers. Um, and we got to go through some toxic comments from the Korean internet. The only reason I bring these up is because there was like a lot of articles translating them. So, you know, we just got to talk about what the, no. the fan bases you mean, are you saying. Mean, even. Uh, some people were being very critical and hating on the situation. Yeah. Somebody said, yeah, I like give them one year. <laughs> he has everything. He has like everything but he doesn't have an eye for women. And some of you are criticizing it because she's 38 years old. He's 37 years old. So she is a little bit on the older side, but they're about to have a kid. I mean, she's still good looking, but. Right. And obviously there was that uh, rumor that she came with two children. So somebody said, Aigo, he became a father of three overnight. Why wouldn't you just date and marry a nice, normal non-celebrity? And then this other comment said, wow, how quickly we went from this rumor. I think he's dating this girl to now he's getting married and she's pregnant. Yeah, somebody said, yeah, he deserves what he will get. And of course, guys, like we said, there's such a distribution of online comments. These were just more of the negative ones that got highlighted on one of those like translation blogs. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, I wouldn't listen too much to the negative comments. I don't know how, what percentage of the general public actually feels negatively about this. I mean, even I, though- I, A lot of times people are like in a silent majority where they're positive or neutral about it, but it's just like the people who hate- and make hateful comments sort of like outweigh and have a louder voice or a bigger megaphone. Hey guys, uh, let us know what you think about their marriage. Did you hear about Sun Jung Ki before? Uh, did you even hear about Katie Louise Saunders before? Um, do you think that this is a trend? I don't want to say trend as in people will target non-Asian women or non-Asian guys just to marry, just to make it a trend. Um, but I'm just saying like, do you think it will happen more and more now that somebody has kind of done it yeah. first and kind of made it okay? Because sometimes you need to see the pioneer do yeah, it. Yeah, man. I mean, dude, there was always this talk about like, you know, Jet Li kissing Aaliyah and Romeo must die and it getting cut out because Western audiences couldn't stomach it or they didn't find it believable. Hey, what's more believable than real life? They're about to have a kid together, you know? All right, everybody. So uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Again, Hot Pop Boys, we're covering everything. Hey, hey, shout out to SJK, man. This is dope. And shout out to Louise, too. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.